Swedish prosecutor has spent the day questioning Julian Assange at the Ecuadorian embassy in London over allegations of sexual misconduct in Sweden six years ago. It's something that the WikiLeaks boss strongly denies. RT correspondent Polly Boyka has more now on the Assange long-running legal battle to clear his name. The Swedish prosecutor has wrapped up her first day of questioning here at London's Ecuadorian embassy. It's expected that the process could take another two days, but her appearance here in London marks a seismic breakthrough in this long and complicated diplomatic standoff that's been taking place, really, ever since Julian Assange walked into London's Ecuadorian embassy over four years ago. And ever since he entered the embassy doors, he has been asking Swedish authorities to carry out the questioning either here in London or via video link and up until recently the Swedish authorities had refused. We know that the questions are being asked by an Ecuadorian prosecutor on behalf of the Swedish authorities that have traveled here. That all needs to be translated and transcribed but the Ecuadorian government is very pleased with this development. We managed to talk to were investigating in August 2010, found that the, that the allegations should be dismissed, and he closed the case. So for that reason, Julian has been insistent that he should be heard to achieve that result again, because any independent and impartial prosecutor should come to the same conclusion. It is, of course, a long and very complicated legal case that Julian Assange has with both the Swedish authorities and, indeed, the British ones as well. Take a look at some of the facts surrounding the saga of Julian Assange. A lot of the coverage fails to mention that he's not been charged with a single offence. When he first came here over four years ago, Julian Assange was sought for questioning in Sweden on allegations of four counts of sexual misconduct, which he denied. Three of those allegations have now expired under Sweden's statute of limitations. Throughout it all, Julian Assange has said that he fears the entire case is just a ploy to get him extradited over to the U.S., where the FBI is investigating him for espionage. It's time that the Obama administration treats WikiLeaks for what it is, a terrorist organization whose continued operation threatens our security. Shut it down. Information terrorism, which leads to people getting killed, is terrorism. And Julian Assange is engaged in terrorism. He should be treated as an enemy combatant. WikiLeaks should be closed down permanently and decisively. That's over the Iraq war leaks, for which former Army Private Chelsea Manning is currently serving a 35-year jail sentence for sending information to WikiLeaks. With that in mind, Julian Assange has, over the past four years, repeatedly offered to go to Sweden if courts there guarantee not to send him on to the U.S. So far, the Swedes haven't been able to give that guarantee. And given the reputational damage WikiLeaks revelations have inflicted on the U.S. establishment over the years, Assange has repeatedly said he's not willing to take the risk of going to Sweden. On top of that, it was recently reported that when Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State, she asked if it was possible to, quote, drone the guy. Assange was a thorn in her side in the final months before she lost the election, leaking thousands of damaging emails, which many claim cost her the job. We got special ops forces. I mean, a, a dead man can't leak stuff. This guy's a traitor, a treasonous, and, and, and he has broken every law of the United States. The guy ought to be 
and I'm not for the death penalty, so if I'm not for the death penalty, I only want to do it, illegally shoot the son of a b In February, a United Nations panel declared Assange as being unlawfully detained by Sweden and the UK here, requesting that Assange be immediately released and compensated. That didn't happen. But nine months down the line, the Swedish prosecutor's visit is the biggest breakthrough this case has had since Julian Assange walked through these doors. And while today's interrogation was in progress, supporters and journalists waiting outside got some entertainment. That was thanks to Assange's cat making an appearance in the embassy window. As you can see now, it was sporting a very dapper collar and tie for the special day, known simply as Embassy Cat. Also, though nicknamed Wiki Kitty, the feline's Twitter account says that its interests include counter purveillance. Cat was a present from Assange's children to their dad earlier this year. It's since been part of embassy life.